Greetings everyone, welcome to Nyx Mods, and the end of Dark Tribes Month. We'll wrap this up with the most undercooked Dark Tribe of all, beating out the Scorpions with the fewest characters and a vehicle that feels flatter than the Scorpion Stinger. I like the bats aesthetically, but they are a little plain, and it doesn't help that the two we get are almost identical. To individualize my bats and show off their beautiful prints, I've replaced the usual molded armor on a couple with a translucent brace so they can still have wings and fly. I've also done this with a few ravens and eagles. I even gave some more armor to bulk them up. The weapons are a bit simpler this time, sound-themed ones like a glorified megaphone and a tuning fork, mixed with more conventional blades and ranged firearms. It would have been nice if we got a lavender bat like in the games, or sand purple if that color wasn't retired, but I tried. I call this one Blad. Moving on to vehicles, Braptor's Wing Striker is a very light mod. Like the bats themselves, it's kinda plain, but adding some greebles does wonders to make it feel more rugged like Chima vehicles usually do. The striker doesn't tell us much about what other bat builds may look like, but at least the face gives us some hints. Long, fin-like ears, big purple noses, and round, piercingly bright eyes. These are the traits I brought to the Bat Tribe Outlet bike, converted from Lloyd's Jungle Chopper bike. Just glancing this, I could see one of those long snooted bats. You know, the really cute puppy-like ones that eat bananas. I made this especially lifelike using those angled minifig stand things so its eyes really bulge out. It even has a baby on its back. This drone has its own space for a chi crystal that feeds power to the bike, but disconnecting it still leaves you space for another. My favorite detail is the gaping nostril stud snooter uh, shooter. I changed the tires for flatter broad ones since it couldn't stand for guano with the old tires. And those lime wheels give it this striking splash of color that allows the rest of the bike to be more subdued. And that's all three outland bikes, at least those owned by the Dark Tribes. But it's time for something different. Really different. I actually modded this next one before the bike, so I had very little to go by and a lot to mess up. Make way for Blista's Scuttler. Converted from Lego Batman the Movies the Scuttler. There are several Batman templates I've considered for this tribe, but most of them feel too futuristic for Chima to me. But something about the Scuttler was just rough around the edges enough. An aftermarket Scuttler can be pretty expensive these days, but I got this one used and without many figures for $12. Best 12 bucks I've ever spent. First step was switching out all the red and yellow for purple and green, but I left some of the more earthy colors in, added the slightest bit of trans red and some flick fire missiles, and made the rear toes sand blue to match the bats. The original Scuttler had some nice stickers, so I left in the ones that aren't obviously Batman related. Bat Tribe stickers are limited, so I bought multiple Wing Striker sheets for this big boy, and opened up the trunk enough for a gunner, packing in loads of engine details with just a little asymmetry. There's a Chi Crystal, of course, and a spare stored directly above it. Now, let's talk about that head. This is the part I'm most proud of. When modding the Diesel Knot, the head was just a transplant. I barely had to change anything about it, and even Crueler's mod at least kinda looked like a crocodile's face already. But I wanted to take those traits from the Wing Striker all the way, make something loud and alive like all the great giant Chima animal heads. I didn't finish it in one sitting. It took several hours of work to go from this to this. Sure, there's the basics like a jaw, but also little things. The bags under the eyes, the pug-like muzzle, the staggered teeth. These are classic Chima traits, but I wanted to get them all right. I made the tongue and nose look like speakers so this thing could screech at enemies. I had some trouble with the eyes, trying out a few sizes, but eventually settling on this. Since these domes are completely hollow, I tried putting things inside that look like pupils, but I think they're scarier just being huge, blank, moon-like orbs in the night. The ears gave me a lot of trouble. This was a time when I still considered modding the Batwing and giving that its own giant Chima animal head that would top this, so I didn't want to make the Scuttler's ears or eyes too big. I went through many wedges and slopes and plates before it occurred to me to just use the Wing Striker's wings as ears. Then I tripped myself thinking they should sweep back like the original ears, and they were floppy and kept the Scuttler from looking up. Even after I figured out they'd be better turned sideways, actually connecting them and that a characterful angle was a brick wall. Until I noticed the wing's top edge was rounded, enough for a clip connection. 
I'm so happy it came together like this. You could fly the head around on its own like a creepy floating throne, a second phase of the fight after the body's too damaged to move. But that moment I attached the completed head to the body, that's when this stopped being a simple Baman retool and became an authentic Chima build. It was also the moment I stopped liking Chima's bat tribe and started loving them. This experience has made one of the weakest tribes ever in my eyes into a strong one. Maybe someday I'll add something else to their fleet, but uh, this table's getting crowded. I've hit that delicate balance I talked about last episode, and I don't want to ruin it. So that was Dark Tribes Month. My best hope for this one is that it opens the door for other Bat Tribe mods or mocks with this aesthetic. And if you want to just recreate what you see on screen, go ahead. I love that some people have started recreating my mods for their own shelves. Just do please credit me if you post pics or videos of them. But I would also genuinely like to see someone take a stab at the Batwing or Bat Dune buggy or that arachnoid base for the spiders, anything you can make work. On another note, sorry for mixing up Black Arachnia's voice actresses in the Spider Tribe episode. And on another note, I was wrong to call the back end of a spider a thorax multiple times. It is the abdomen. And on another, another note, going back before Dark Tribes Month, turns out there is no Steela. The official minifig character from that episode has always been Cybris. But in getting those names mixed up, it seems I accidentally created another Chimo C. Uh, all's well that ends well, I guess? Thanks for joining me this month. But after four Chima mod vids in a row, I need to get some Planet Ripple content out, and a couple of rewinds before the year's over. Until the next mod, you can support my work by checking out my books on Amazon and itch.io, and my Patreon page where you'll see these videos a week early, along with patron-exclusive content and a patron-exclusive Discord server. See you next mod. Toodles!